Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. It's your mayor, Roberts Arsenal here. We have progressed quite a little bit since the last episode. We've managed to get 21,000 people, almost 22,000. We've unlocked a couple of things as well. We've also gotten up to level 10 experience. So we are unlocking many, many nice things. I also did manage to upgrade my city storage quite a bit. We've already got 60 storage space. Let's see. To upgrade, I need another camera and another like roof rack or something of the sort. So then we'll be able to have a capacity of 70. I am running into capacity problems at the moment, so I'll have to get on top of that. Unfortunately, I've been building a little bit too much, and some of these houses, at least two of them, are out of range of the fire station. You'd think this one would have been, but it's not for whatever reason, so a couple of the houses have burnt up. Oh, well, not much I can do about that apart from, I guess, demolish them, but since they've already been built, I'll just keep them there. In the meantime, though, Got a lot of these nice looking skyscrapers about. A couple of other buildings that we can improve upon as well. Um, right now, what I should be working on are lots of these nails. Unfortunately, I need to go ahead and create some iron. So let's go do that. Uh, let's get a fair bit of iron. Six more of that, and then we'll go get some seeds because you can never really have enough seeds. Uh, particularly because we need them. I have rearranged a little bit of my city. I've pushed away the industrial buildings way off to the side so they won't be polluting the ground anymore so the people won't be complaining because I did manage to get 99% happiness. Unfortunately, because these buildings are burning up, then uh, that's really lowered the happiness down by a couple percentage points. But we seem to be doing all right for the most part anyway. So let's go and have a look at what we can work on. Okay, I actually wouldn't mind working on a chair, but I can't. Let's see. Oh, I'll leave things here as they are. What we'll do is though, we'll get some vegetables. And let's see. Get some more nails as well, which means that I do need to wait up for all of this to finish, which is thankfully a minute go by as goes by really quick in this game. I have a lot of fun with it as well so far. Really looking forward to how this series ends up coming along because I'm very pleasantly surprised just at how good this game is. So, let's go get those nails going because there are a couple of houses. I'm pretty sure it's this one that needs nails. Here we go. Two more. I think we'll be able to do that this episode. So, we've managed to get 12,000 simoleons as well, which means that I did save this for this episode. We are able to go ahead and construct the cargo ship dock. Mayor, are you, oh, you are ready to start construction on your city's cargo ship dock. 10,000 simoleons, let's do it. All right. Hi, Mayor. A little short on simoleons? Yes. Well, not really. Two, two, two and a half thousand is more than enough. So, is this ready? Oh, no, it's not. Okay, your city's cargo ship dock is under construction and it will be ready soon. Keep an eye out for your first cargo ship. All right, a day and seven hours. That's going to be quite a little while, but anyways... We'll be able to recover our losses that we spent on that pretty quickly, though, with all these houses that we've been upgrading. In the meantime, though, what else has happened? We have unlocked the ability to go get specializations now, in particular education. Well, firstly, we need to build a Department of Education. The capital cost for that is 40000 so quite an expensive purchase. We are nowhere near close enough to get that just yet. So at the moment... I'm just grinding away, sli slaving away slowly but surely. Uh, we also have unlocked the ability to expand our, um, ex well, to get an expansion area. So, if we check up one over here, we can just click on one and it shows us what we need. We need an exhaust, a cogwheel, and a bulldozer extension. Um, there's a different amounts that you need for every section, so I'm only able to get one at the moment, which is this one. You know what? I might as well just get it. It's in a bit of an awkward position, but I wouldn't. I mean, it doesn't really matter where I place. Maybe I could get one over here. It means I need another bulldozer um, section, which I actually did unlock the global trade headquarters, which is where you're able to buy things online. Let's see if there is a bulldozer section here. There should be. There you go for 600 simoleons. Okay. Some other guys charging 800 for it. So, you know what? We'll go with Skamar. I can't even see what that guy's name is, but I might as well get by that. I'll get that. 600 simoleons. That's about 
one extra house built. Have a look at his city as well. Looking very advanced, I must say. Obviously, he's got a population of 61,000 though, so... Very impressive. Nothing for sale right now. Damn, it must have already sold. I did sell um, one piece of iron, and that sold really quickly as well. And that was just for a normal price, so... For a, I think it was 10 simoleons, so... Uh, you know what? Let's go back over here and check this out. See if anything will come up. Again. Because I guess it does change really quickly. Um, uh, it's the one with 800. See? People pick up on these bargains really quickly. I'll leave it. Now, the way that you do get these extra things, these, like, cogwheels and all, is I guess you can unlock the production line, but also reading what the people have to say. I like you. I don't know why, but I do. You click that, and look at that. Look at that. That just worked out perfectly. We've got an exhaust. So now we're able to sell that or actually use that for an expansion or use that for whatever we want. So that's pretty cool. Uh, but apart from that, though, let's go and... There was something that I did want to work on. I'm not quite sure. Um, let's see. Got vegetables. Here we go. No, I did not want to work on that. Let's just keep on getting nails. Now, also, you can get increased amounts of slots in your production buildings, which I did do uh, for a couple of these buildings. Um, so over here now, we've got three slots, three slots over here. And in the farmer's market, we've got three. In the furniture store, we've still only got two because, as you can see, it does take a little bit longer to actually get the resources needed to work on that. So that's why we're waiting up on that. But I think that will conclude yet another little episode. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed. I'm definitely enjoying playing this. And hopefully you're enjoying watching this just as much as I am playing it. We'll be back very shortly with uh, some updated progress. There'll be a lot more different series coming along now because... I've got no idea what's happening to my Arsenal Robert account on YouTube. It is in limbo. Uh, it's not a very nice time, but we'll have to go ahead and make the most of this channel, which is actually kind of good. It's a double-edged sword. There's a bit of a silver lining that I'm able to actually focus a little bit more on this. We'll be playing some other mobile games. Make sure you guys give me recommendations of whatever you'd like to see. But until next time, though... I'll see you later and hopefully we'll be cracking about 25,000 or so people next episode.